And so when I was, um, after the military, I became a private investigator. I did some bounty hunting. And what I found was that when you're involved in those kind of things, you're actually being a part of people's negative uh, experiences in their life. And I don't mm. want to be part of something negative. So if I give you pictures of someone in your family doing something you, you don't want them to do or right. something that makes you upset about your husband or wife, um, although on television it sounds like a good idea, in real life you're making people sad. Right. Uh, and when you're bounty hunting people, you're actually bounty hunting people that are already having a bad life. These yeah. aren't like, you're not going after, I thought it was going to be like really bad guys, right? It's just, it's people having a bad life, man. They're either they're on drugs or they're, you know, poor and couldn't pay debt or something. And so... I, I, I didn't want to be a part of that. Um, so for me, bounty hunting was um, was not positive. Mm. Uh, providing pictures of of uh, people doing inappropriate things, right? Because as a private <laughs> private investigator, like you are doing a good job when you supply somebody with something that essentially confirms their fears mostly, and that probably means the end of their relationship, or or just a bad situation. You know what I mean? You're just bringing light to badness and illuminating a bad thing and you're part of it you know? right. so bad things happen all the time but do you really want to be a part of this bad part of someone's life right and for me i hate to see people sad so i realized like that's not i can't be a part of that so you know um so i i for me i what i love to do is see people do well so right. i like to teach people and i was uh, actually a swim instructor and I, i'm okay at swimming but i'm a, a, a swim instructor and and people are learning from me well and i can see i'm good at teaching the one thing i loved all my life was martial arts mm. and firearms um so i kept studying martial arts going to different schools and for me martial arts was not about trophies and winning things and and learning about the esoterics of different cultures you know that's fine but that was not what i was there for it was there because i liked self-defense i like the idea that you could uh, maintain your freedom and the mm. freedom of others and stop um, violence and tyranny of a violent individual or group against a um, against a person. Mm. And that's so interesting. That's because, I, for. I mean, like in the 90s or in the 80s and stuff that a lot of martial arts had this like weird, you know, Eastern mystique thing about right. it. Right. That like now when we think about self-defense, we think about jujitsu we think about all the shit stemming from the ufc right. which kind of like showed us which styles were actually effective and i mean i remember as a kid i remember being in karate class and i remember thinking like what the hell is this goofy ass shit that they're telling me about about my chi and all this stuff right. you know i just wasn't right. into it yeah and that's what happened to me is i got disillusioned when i would go to these martial arts schools and you know they would start talking about things that you know <laughs> it's not really it's not it's not actually functional, and I know it's not, right? right? And then I'm, I spar with them, and I'm beating up the kids that have, you know, advanced, you know, the, the system. And, you know, I was like, this is not really what I want to do. And I see it's not working for them. They've been here four years, five years. And I just joined, and I'm, you know, beating their butt. Mm. So why would I want to continue this? And so I don't want to be disrespectful, but, you know, that's not what I joined for. I didn't join to learn more about um, someone else's cultural, um, esoteric meanings of their martial arts, although I liked martial arts I, that's not what i was there for mm. and so you know what i did was i i thought man wouldn't it be great if we had a system we could study that taught us how to fight standing up fight on the ground uh fight uh with a knife a pistol a shotgun a rifle fight with a baton fight with a brick uh, whatever you have to do but know how to do it legally mm. what if there was a legal system to help us learn how to do that and that's what i learned from law from um being a private investigator was law is more important than fighting you would much rather lose a fight and go home and go get some stitches than win a fight and go to prison. Mm. And there are people that are going to prison right now today simply because they won the fight. Right. And they couldn't legally explain their actions. Mm, so if they, if they would have known how to legally use force, they could have stopped themselves from making a decision, decision that was later used against them to prosecute them. Did, did you feel like the overall martial arts landscape at this time, the self-dispense world, that there wasn't really anybody doing stuff that was this practical or that was this sort of grounded in reality? To this very day, mm -hmm. right now. I've said it for, I've been saying it publicly for 10 to 20 years, you know, openly in different formats, and nobody's trying to even approach the idea mm -hmm. that you should legally know how to defend yourself, which is insanity. If you think about it, you're, you're actually telling kids and adults to choke people, punch people, kick people, and nobody's explaining the laws that correspond with that. Mm. And now imagine an adult like Mr. Miyagi and uh, Karate Kid, and he's following a kid, which is a minor, which is already illegal. <laughs> then he beats up some other <laughs> minors, which worked out well in the movies, but you try that as an adult, you've just committed several crimes, yeah. including using physical force on other minors. Right. You never sought legal intervention, you never called the police, you didn't try to avoid conflict, and you put your hands on minors. Mm. That guy would never have done Karate Kid 2, right. right? In real life. 
Uh, but imagine when no one's ever telling us this. How about when, when can a miner choke another miner? Can you please subscribe to No Jumper Clips channel and give the 20K or they won't have no money to pay me and I'm gonna have to go rob people again?